Hello and welcome back to the third part of the compendium. Today we're going to be talking about controllers. If you didn't watch part one and two, I strongly suggest to watch them before you watch this one to get the context on the spreadsheet in the first place. So let's dive in and talk about them. We start with the complexity. Brimson, five out of 10. I don't think we need to speak much about it. He's just the easiest when it comes to the options that you have as an agent. Uh, and that makes his complexity the smallest from all the controllers. But remember, complexity is not in general, a good thing. The complexity is like a backhanded compliment because that means that you have to either master the agent, like you have to sacrifice more time to master that agent, or the complexity comes from the inefficiency of the utility if you use it incorrectly, right? And there's also a difference like Astra's nine out of 10 and Harbor and Viper nine out of 10, even though the complexity is, is on the same level, it comes from a different origin source because Viper's, complexity comes from inefficiency like you have to be more aware of the inefficiency of your fuel because now with the orb and wall using the same shit well if you don't use it efficiently then you're really bad at viper so that's like an, another layer of compl complexity that you have to master as a viper and then reposition the smoke is also very important so you're not as flexible as other players and that's where the complexity comes from harbor is very easy to mess up because the utility is so prone to mis misposition, you know, misalignment because it's so f flickery, right? And then Astra's complexity comes from the amount of options because you have a global appearance, but we're going to talk about that in the primary role. So let's just jump in. As you can see, Riot made the distinction that controllers are just controllers and there are five of them. But essentially, all five of them have a completely different role. And in and it's very important to understand the difference when you're walking into like, you know, a controller's shoes and you, you have to be at a controller for the team, right? If you, by the way, if you don't know how to use smokes in the game, I have multiple guides on smokes in on my YouTube. If you're on Twitch, you can just type in exclamation mark smokes and you have some also uh, some guides there. So now let's talk about the roles. Brimstone is an execute smoker. What do I mean by that? That means that his smokes are, let's say, the fastest. By the fastest, I mean that you can literally just drop three smokes at the same time and you can just run in, right? So you have like this ability to not sell the information first because if, for example, if you're an Astra, you have this moment where you have to place the stars and then one by one activate them. That gives the ability to the opponents to understand your plan before it happens. With Brimstone, the smokes just fall and you can run in. So you have like this small uh, small window of opportunity to catch your opponents off guard, right? Now, the problem with Brimstone though, when you compare it to, for example, the next controller, Omen, is the fact that he has a limited amount of smokes. And that's why Omen has the uh, primary role as a recurring smoker. It's very important to understand that because Omen's job is so much easier when it comes to managing defaults, like default attack plan is so much easier for Omen than for Brimstone because if Brimstone uses a smoke, for example, if you attack Ascend and you default on Ascend, if you use one of the smokes on short to make sure that you have some uh, early game control on mid, well, then you have less one smoke less for the execute. When you play Omen, you can just literally use two smokes on mid, gather the control, wait it out a little bit and you have them back and you have still two smokes for the execute right so there's um omen has a little bit of a different role because of that if you are an attacking omen and you're not using your smoke in the first second of the round and on defense as well uh, uh, by, by the way you're not using the omen properly because his job is to maximize the amount of smokes that he uses in the round and for the early pressure, something that we're gonna talk a little bit uh, about in a moment. Now, Omen also has the infiltrator ability, similar to Yoru, but that's because of the ultimate, essentially, right? Like he can do uh, a little bit of uh, uh, like odd rounds just because the ultimate allows him to do similar role like the Yoru, but it's less, um, less often than with the Yoru. But at the same time, his TP and the uh, and the um, and the paranoia allows him to be a little bit uh, more of an infiltrator as well, but is limited in the range. Right now, Astra's primary role is global support. Why? Well, you know, she can put the stars anywhere. I think this is like very self-explanatory and very uh, important to understand that when you play Astra, 
you kind of have to be all over the map. That's where the complexity just comes in as 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 Astra, right? Harbor, it's kind of similar to Omen, but it's even more important to understand that that's Harbor's job. The early game vision denial is to some degree very similar to Omen, right? When because you you want to use you have you have your entire kit, the entire kit of Harbor is essentially doing the same stuff. You have five smokes, right? You have uh, well, actually, well, actually four, but it's, it's recurring. But the, my point is, if you're not using your smoke early game, your the wall or 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 the or the cascade, um, that means you're not using Harbor properly. You have to be using Harbor either as a fast hitter on site, right? Because you are able to smoke kind of faster than than um, for example Omen, because you can just leave the smoke up. Um, like doing a lineup and then doing the wall, and you can just run in to similar to kind of brim the brimstone, right? But if you're doing a more defaulty approach, then you have a very similar role to Omen. You have to use your smokes, you have to use the casket, the wall, to build up pressure on your opponents by denying them vision, right? And then Viper, by the way, I, I've, I was thinking about should I give Harbor the secondary smoker primary role, just like Viper, but I'll be honest with you. I think the early game vision denial is just so much more important for Harbot than I just didn't do it. Uh, even though both of those share the secondary smoker right role in general, the only maps where Viper was meant to be like a primary smoker are the ones like Icebox and Breeze, where the space is a little bit open and the value out of that wall comes in, but you can literally play that map without smokes and it doesn't hurt that, mu that much if you just use the e anything else to just execute the site, right? So, secondary role, there's also a little bit of difference between all of those, um, all of those uh, controllers. Zoning, if you don't know what zoning is, is controlling space on the map by using your utility. It's very important to understand that Brimstone's Molly is one of the best zoning utility pieces in the game. Not only it deals insanely amount high high damage because it's 55.75 dps per second so it kills a person in three seconds right you also have it last the longest it's eight seconds long so you have a certainty that you can zone out something for a very long duration of the time a viper has the same ability but unfortunately got really wrecked in the in the uh in the nerf like, Viper was a great zoning agent when you do an execute because you could just use two mollies and make sure you're checking a corner because it was lethal damage. It was over 150, 152, if I remember correctly, before the nerf. But now, with the nerf, when it's 132, you're not able to kill a player who is standing in the corner unless he has a small shield. So you still have to check that corner. So there's a little bit of zoning utility from viper but it has to be combined with other pieces of utility from the other agents so that nerf is actually very impactful and that was that's why i was upset so much about the viper nerf now omens secondary uh secondary role is combat smokes what do i mean by that combat smokes think about it it's like a it's like an inefficient jet jet is using the smokes for herself to help her out to deny corners allow her to escape and so on omen has the fastest smokes for himself. He can just go literally pop the smoke in front of himself by doing just two clicks. And it makes him a little bit, you know, um, uh, vulnerable to, to fire because of the small window of opportunity for the opponents, but it still is the fastest that you can do from every single controller. So when you play Omen, you should think a little bit more in a way that you're, you're actually like a semi-dualist that uses the smokes in combat to allow yourself to just carve the map for yourself that's why the combat smokes are so important and not many omens actually use them that way because they think more about oh okay i just use the default smoke here default smoke here and then that's it you have to think a little bit differently when playing omen you have to be a more proactive more short range as well he's great at that and i feel like there's not a lot of people utilizing him that way now astra flexible pressure is um for example for ko phoenix and and breach we have like execute support i actually think execute support is a great thing for astra but i didn't want to put it in it because of the ability to do flexible pressure across the map 
you can do a typical execute support with using the stun and the pull with the smokes on the entire site. So you're literally using your entire kit to help this, the execute. But what you also can do is use all of your utility to create pressure all over the map. So you have so many options and that's why the complexity for Astra is so high, right? Harbor uh, is, oh yeah. my God. That's a sub. All right, let me let me mute this. Um, Harbor has retake utility as a secondary role. I think it's very important to understand that Harbor's limitations comes from his um, his inability to to create different tasks. Uh, sorry, to to um, essentially finish different tasks with utility. Utility is so one like let's say focused on the vision denial, right? But that makes him a great retake agent because you're able to take space like meter by meter. You're able to use smokes in the cascade and the wall in a way that creates space by inches. And you can advance towards the space on the side where you have to retake the spike, right? So his role, if you play Harbor, <laughs> by the way, condolences, if you play Harbor, you have to really practice a lot in customs or in like, you know, with your friends, how to retake a site properly with your utility. That complexity on that harbor comes into that. Like the retake utility to use it properly and to everyone else understands what we're going to achieve with it is insanely tough. And there's a lot of value in it, but because of that as well, he can be really like a primary smoker because of that for the team. Now, for Viper, we already explained the zoning, so we can go then into the tertiary role. And the tertiary role, I feel like it's not really that important, but we're going to just mention Brimson can be post plan because of the ultimate and the molly. But again, if you're doing an execute, you should be using your molly for an execute to help secure the plant in the first place and not save it for the post plant. Right? The same goes for the Viper mollies. They are less important now for the actual execute because of the damage nerf, something that I explained. So I wouldn't mind if you have someone else in the uh, in your team to use their utility for the zoning ability. But if you don't have anyone else, you should be considering using your mollies in the first place to check corners. That's the way that Fnatic plays, for example. When they have a Viper, both mollies are being used pre-planned unless you get free kills because then you have free space. But if you have to execute a site, it's important to use the utility that you have to secure the plant in the first place. If you don't secure the plant, your molly is going to be useless anyway. So just use them to increase the odds of planting, right? Um, for Astra, I put in the post plant because unless you use all four of your stars for an execute, right? You have always the ability to use it, to use one of your pieces of utility for the post plant because of the flexibility coming in from the stars, um, stars design. So I think it's fine to put it as a tertiary role, but again, same concept, like with Brimson and Viper, you are probably, you probably don't want to save your stars for post plant. You need to secure the plant in the first place. Um, how about I put a safe planting for the tertiary role, but I kid you not, I don't think it works because if the defenders are gonna just spam the smoke, it's actually even worse than you think because the 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 smoke the cove from harbor is 13 bullets from a vandal 13 bullets from a phantom the same amount of bullets by the way but phantom has fa faster fire rate right so it's easier to destroy it with a phantom than a vandal but when you destroy that cove then the smoke disappears and the planter is literally exposed right so it's way easier to destroy this than the sage wall because the sage wall has segments and you don't exactly know which angle you will get if you destroy one of the segments. But with Harbor's Cove, you just shoot it anywhere. And the plant is like, I guess I'm dead. You know, so the safe planting, take this with a, with a, a grain of salt here. Uh, Omen backstabbing, kind of similar to the infiltration. So it's like, again, he's more, he's more inclined to take the gunfights to take a proactive role for himself to be more like a combat -y, uh controller than the other ones. But remember, Brimstone will have a similar role if he has no utility, and that's why we're going to talk about attack order. Remember, attack order, right, means what is your role 
when you actually push onto a site, when you do an actual execute, right? And Brimstone, I'm, pu I'm putting in secondary entry for him, even though sometimes he's going to be a first entry, but I'm putting in secondary entry because if you do it properly, you're going to have to spend first time to use the utility and then run in, right? So when you ditch your entire util as a Brim, then you have just a role as a, as a guy with a gun, right? So you don't really... You don't really mind if you die and you get traded. So um, as a brimstone, remember that you don't have that much of a value if you use your utility in the first place. While the other agents actually do, because of the ability, uh, someone is drilling upstairs. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, because of their recurring utility. With the Astra, there's also the same concept. If you use all of your stars, well, then your life is less important than the other our players in your team now um typically viper i would say she's gonna be a little bit more laid back because of the ability to either um use constant pressure with a fuel that's why her life is so important and you don't want to be the second first second uh on site you want to trade the other people that are the first and the second entry um but remember that also you're going to be more inclined to play the support role because you will most likely use all of your utility at the same time and it takes a little bit of time to use the lineups in the first place. So you're not going to have even the ability to run in as the other players because your utility takes time to do the lineups and to land and so on, right? So you're going to be probably more detached from the rest of the, um, of the team. But remember, if you are a controller you are expected to fight as well. Dump your util and run in with the team, specifically when you're playing Brimstone, right? Like, don't think about your life as being very important for the post plant if you just dumped your util in the first place. Flash types, not much to talk about. Support blinds for Omen. Why support? Well, because it's really hard to use Paranoia for, for yourself. You're, if you're an Omen player, you know exactly how it is. Like, the most common play for yourself would be Paranoia, and TP to get like a flashy play TikTok kind of a way, right? But it's hard to execute that. So you typically, typically want to use it for the teammates to have an easier way of entering the site because of the way that the paranoia is like created. You want to create a tunnel for your teammates to take the space in, right? This is why I support. Now lurking. Lurking, there's a very... You know, controllers ha have a, a have a huge um, have a huge difference in the lurking ability. I put the brimstone two out of ten because his smokes are giving an option to dodge some of the traps. But the thing is, his limitation when it comes to the range makes him a really bad lurker. Uh, and also the the inclination of using the steam beacon for the team. Well, you can't really do that if you're on the lurk. Holy crap! Well, I'm not gonna edit this out. So enjoy the drilling, and remember. That, again, his utility is an execute support. You don't be, want to be a lurker on the other side of the map when you cannot be an execute support because that's your main role. Now, other agents that I really put highly on the lurk are Omen and Astra. Astra because of the global range, but also the ability to use fake smokes um, to sometimes time the traps, but you have to be very efficient with that. And... Um, um, the global range is even more important. Like, you can be anywhere on the map and make sure that you're going to still be useful. For Omen, I put it 9 out of 10 because he has a lot of utility that helps him to be a proper lurker because of the, you can avoid the traps with two pieces of utility, not only the smokes, but also the, also the TP and the ultimate as well, right? So you can be a proper lurker. But there's a small limitation of his range. That's why I didn't put him as a, as a, as a 10, 10, 10 out of 10 because of the small limitation of his smokes. Um... And then Harbor, I don't think he's a good lurker because if you use your utility, you're literally giving away your position. You can always know where the Harbor is coming from, from, right? And you want to use your utility at the beginning of the round, so you're selling information about your own position because of that. But he still has a lot of, um, a lot of utility that allows him to dodge some traps. So I, I put him as a 5 out of 10, because you can, but you shouldn't. But it's still better than Brimstone. And Viper, 8 out of 10, because she can be detached from a utility, but 
her, let's say, she doesn't have as much utility to dodge the traps as the Omen. And she has an execute support plan as well with the Mollies. So she's definitely not the best out of the controls of, to, to be a lurker, but she is designed in a way that you can be a great lurker. Like, you can be a great lurker on a Viper. It just requires a little bit of different approach on how you want to have a backup plan to support your team with the mollies. That's why having lineups from lurker positions is also important. Like, if you're lurking on Icebox through Kitchen, for example, right? Having a lineup on the default plant to help in post plant from a position from the defender side is actually important to understand that you can still be helpful even when you're lurking. Right? And then the prefer preferable defense rules. I feel like most of the agents that you play as a controller should be anchors because of the range, right? So I'm putting Omen, Astra, and Viper as anchors because they are very efficient at that and they have utility that can stop a push. That is the most important aspect of the anchor. You need to have a utility piece that is able to delay and execute, right? So that's why Viper, Astra, and Omen have the anchor ability, while Brimstone has two. Anchor and Rotator. He's a great anchor. He is able to anchor a side with very long smokes. If you chain smokes, if you literally just chain your smokes, you're able to smoke an entrance to your side for almost 60 seconds, right? One smoke is 19.25 seconds long. So it's almost a minute if you just chain smokes at the beginning of the round. So that's very powerful and underutilized. But also, the rotation is able to happen because of the Steam Beacon. Steam Beacon puts you in a faster pace that people might not expect you to have, right? And you can help the other players from your side as well to rotate faster, right? So you can just use that for to make someone else a rotator. Uh, while Harbor, well, he's just a retake agent. You never want to anchor as a, as a Harbor. He is utility, has no ability to stop a push. So please, for the love of God, if you're a harbor, you should be flexible in the defense. You should be running in between sides and just spamming util to block the vision. But remember to not duck your teammates over if you give space to the opponents to go onto site. And that's where the complexity comes from the harbor. But you should be the rotating agent on defense between sides, support. And also remember, if, if, if you are late to the party, well, then you're the retake agent. Have fun. And then, uh, secondary defense role, long-range support. Why do I think that happens for Brimstone? Um, I mean, for Astro, it's very self-understandable. You know, you have the global global range, global support. That's your primary role. But why do I think long-range support works for Brimstone and Viper? And that's essentially just because of the mollies. The Brimstone molly and the Viper molly have a very long range. So you're able to use lineups from your side when you're anchoring to help the other side of the map essentially on almost every single map which is very important to understand for omen it's the off angle hold because he can change the verticality and you should be utilizing that a lot when you're playing an anchor on your side you should be utilizing the verticality to your own advantage it's very important which also gives him by the way the final five out of ten ability to play a sniper role on his team because in defense, he is able to have that verticality and also the escapability with his TP. It's, also, it's of course not as efficient as Jet or Chamber, but it gives him that ability. I put Brimson 1 out of 10, more of like a joke, because you can use your Steam Beacon to escape and also equip the Operator faster. That's actually kind of underutilized. You can use the Steam Beacon because you have faster equip time, so you can shoot another time with the Operator in an unknown interval from your opponent because they will never expect that so that's kind of funny and now all priority on attack i think this is very important to understand brimstone ultimate is one of the most overpowered ultimates in the history of the game it was an a 6 orb by the way when the game was released in alpha brimstone ultimate was a six orb and i can tell you from experience when it was a six orb he was absolutely broken every third round you there was an execute with a brimstone ultimate on site you were like holy crap how do i play against that it was absolutely broken because the damage is insane the zoning area is insane and you just literally have to play retake 
on most of the maps if the brimstone knows what he's doing right you can zone out one place with the molly you can ult the other 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 other, other, other area of the site and you just run in so it's like an initiation ability on a controller it's insanely powerful and if you're attacking it's it, it's definitely an ult that i would like to put in first on my agents remember that this or priority for context i explained that in part one and part two part two but in case you didn't watch it i'm gonna explain it again imagine you have your team the five agents all of them are zero out of um are, 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 sorry are, are at a zero orb status and you have an orb in front of you and you have to pick one agent to pick the orb first so i'm putting brimstone as one of the most important because you want to have this orb as much as as often as possible on attack it's a fantastic ultimate for an execute obviously omen sucks so we're putting him one out of ten it's really hard to get value out of this ultimate so you definitely don't want to give him orbs um in the first place astra it allows you to do an execute but it's hard to use, utilize it properly so i'm putting a lower priority on her but it's still helpful harbor has i would say his ultimate is actually the best part of his kit like it would kind of suck if it wouldn't be but <laughs> it's still not the best but it gives you an ability to get informations about the players on site because you can literally see where these stunts are happening but they're so easy to avoid they're not really that powerful when you compare it to a to a fade ultimate or bridge ultimate it's not that powerful but still it is an initiation tool for the attack so i'm putting it 7 out of 10. now you can ask why on earth is viper 7 out of 10 on attack well the thing is the ultimate from viper is also pretty flexible because you can use it either in post plant to secure the round essentially right or you can use it as an initiation remember and i think this is highly un 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 um, underrated by the viper players the ultimate on attack can be used as a smoke to enter the site for example when we were playing bind if you go into showers and you get that space you can then use your ultimate to just leak out of showers onto site as a big big smoke right something that in general is underutilized by players actually uh, let, let me give you an example. If you're playing Haven, right? If you're playing Haven, this smoke that you put out on top C like this is heavily underutilized. But it's so power it's such a powerful tool because it allows you to just leak onto site. Think about the Viper Ultimate in the same way. You're able to create space for yourself by just using the ultimate as a smoke to go in. Remember, it also decays your opponents. So it's very powerful as an attacking tool, right? Um, and, uh, and, yeah, and then defense priority. Uh, when it comes to defense priority, Brimstone doesn't lose much. His ultimate is fantastic to stop a push. It's fantastic to retake. So his or priority is just high. It's just high. It's just so, it, the ultimate is just so strong. It's, it's unreal, you know? Uh, Omen as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, Astra, I would say the ultimate has a low priority in my eyes as a defender because it is mostly a retake ultimate. You typically don't get a lot of value in using the ultimate as a um, as means to stop and execute towards yourself. So it's mostly a retake tool, kind of similar to Harbor's entire kit. So I wouldn't put a lot of priority on on Astra's ultimate in defense. Because of that, Harbor is pretty nice. It's not the best, but it's okay. Like, it can stop a push, it can initiate a retake, but it's the power level is just not that high. So I'm putting it 5 out of 10. It's less important on defense than on the attack. And Viper, again, 7 out of 10. I think she's just very flexible in the way she can use the ultimate. So she gets like a semi-high priority on the ultimate. It just depends if the Viper knows what she's doing or not uh all right i guess that's that's it for the controllers again a 29 minute video i really wanted them to be finished in 15 but that's hard to do hope you guys enjoyed it um on sunday we're gonna release the sentinel part 4 video um and i hope you guys learned a lot remember to share the spreadsheet with your friends teach them how to play the game you know in a more sentient 
way, I guess. Um, and I hope you have, we all have a better experience in ranked because, you know, we all have, want to have fun. But the fun comes also from knowing the game. Thank you for watching. See you around.